This is some of the clay that's been sitting in water. I'm getting ready to mix it up. This is some coarse uh, sand that I got from the river. And uh, this is just pine needles that I'm going to use as a binder. And then in this, uh, this I have just a little bit of wood ash. We're just going to start uh, just mixing this, uh, this clay in the water. We're going to add some coarse sand. About that much right there is where I want to start. I'm using pine needles, but they're, but they're just a binder. They just hold it together while it's drying. Um, straw or coarse grass chopped up, anything like that will work. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of wood ash. And this is my mix right here. We've got it uh, mixed up pretty well. and It's got the amount of uh, binder in it, the amount of sand that's, that I like. So we are now ready to go build our stove. We're going to use our hands to, uh, to form, a, form a round. So the, uh, the size of the hole is basically determined by the size of our hands. Basically, you just keep forming this using your hand and your arm as the mold. Now we're just going to keep refining it. At this point right here, we need about an inch and a half, and about an inch and a half, maybe as much as two inches. Now we're going to just put some finishing touches on it. I've got a little block of wood, and uh, just kind of smoothing it out a little bit here and there. I'm going to go inside and just, one more time, just kind of uh, round off the edges. Right, we're going to finish up. And we're gonna. The reason we put wire on the uh, rocket stove is because it'll. Uh, it just gives it a longer life because it, it keeps it from cracking. But also, when it does crack, it'll hold it together and make it. Uh, it'll have a lot longer life span. I want to embed the wire while I'm putting on the wire while it's still so wet. I want the wire to sink in just a little bit into the mud. But we're not going to put it on very tightly at this point. We're just going to get it in place. And then off and on, oh, every couple of days or so, I will come back and tighten the wire up as it's drying. That way uh, the wire is actually helping it not to crack while it's drying. Now we're going to put some plastic over this because we want it to dry very slowly. This is the finished 5 cent earthen rocket stove. We're going to fire it up here. Well, 
Well, as you can see, I put a rock here. This rock lifts the uh, the stick up off of the bottom a little bit and gets a little better flame. We've got a nice flame underneath, and as you can see, the water is boiling quite rapidly. Uh, and we're getting all of that out of this one stick right here. We've got a nice cook fire here, and we are using almost no fuel at all.